Google rebranding its payment system for the fourth time since 2011. It's just beating a dead horse. Digital payment success is not guaranteed, even when you've got a proven track record of profitable digital products. Google Payments technology adoption rates proved to be more complicated than they expected. Its competitor, Apple, has proven that it is possible to get the early majority of its consumer base to start integrating Apple Pay into their day-to-day -day payment activities. So today, we're going to go through Google's payment system and draw some perspectives about whether they ever stand a chance against Apple Pay. Good morning, everyone. This is Merrick from Payment Jeans. Today, it's all about payments. Google Wallet became Google Pay, which becomes Google Wallet, which becomes Google launched Google Wallet some time ago, an Android and Wear OS app that will allow users to store things like credit cards, loyalty cards, digital IDs, transit passes, concert tickets, vaccination cards, and much more. Clear, right? Well, it would be had it not been that Google has long offered a Google Pay app and a Google Wallet app as well within the same functionality. Back in 2020, Google made some major changes resembling moves that many other companies made at that time in their ambition to become a financial super app. At that point, Google even wanted to launch its own bank account in partnership with financial institutions like Citi, directly challenging the likes of Apple Pay with their Goldman Sachs partnerships. Unfortunately, however, that project never saw the light of day and was quickly shelved after the executive behind the project left Google barely six months after that announcement. Google Wallet is seeking to position itself as an authentication app that uses the same technologies that have become commonplace in making payments to enable people to access their workplaces, unlock their cars, prove their memberships, and even replace physical identity documents. The problem with that is, however, that the European Union is already launching its own digital wallet and won't give that dominating authentication position to the big techs that they so eagerly are trying to regulate wherever possible, especially for the kind of data that an authentication layer verifies. Again, not looking good for Google Wallet. Google Pay versus Apple Pay's share of the mobile wallet market, as mentioned in one of the previous episodes, in 2019, Apple reached 10 billion transactions for the first time, quickly followed by over 1 billion monthly transactions. In short, Apple Pay has managed to gain 48% of mobile wallet transactions, though it must be noted that 75% of merchants accept Apple Pay and Google Pay. In all metrics, Google is not managing to seriously compete with Apple Pay. Apple Pay is a payment of choice in about 2.8% of all in-store transactions whereas Google Pay sits at a mere 1%. Putting the gap into perspective, it would mean they need a 200% increase in in-store transactions to surpass Apple. Analyzing the trend, it's clear that there's a significant upward trend observable over all mobile wallets, meaning that consumers are more and more getting accustomed to using their phone wallets for in-store payments. Regardless of the aforementioned, Apple Pay has some work to do within its own ecosystem, so it seems. Drilling down a bit, we see that consumers chose Apple Pay for only 9.3% of eligible in-store transactions. The promising perspective for Google Wallet is the upwards trend in mobile wallet users over the past year, and the fact that their addressable market is bigger compared to Apple Pay's, targeting the entire Android market. It's going to be a challenge, though but you can't deny the perseverance that Google is showing in this spectrum, making us believe that the fight is definitely not lost yet in this very early stage of consumer adoption to mobile wallets. So that begs today's questions. How do you foresee Google's financial and authentication system to have a chance for success in the near future? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. For now, I'd like to thank you all again for watching. Looking forward to see you all again next time. Cheers, bye-bye.